Welcome under the dome, an amazing excursion to a world of new technology. decontamination to ends and receive a call from Victoria Legrand. As you can see, there are endless salt pans in the western region behind me. The sun reflects blindingly. Welcome under the dome, an amazing excursion to a world of new technology and the riddles of an ancient civilization. Welcome under the dome, an amazing excursion to a world of new technology and the riddles of the Again? Good day. I hope to see you again soon. Yes? Bye bye.
Bye bye. Hey, you're at it again, asshole. Okay, you got me, Butch. I'm listening. Come back again. What do you want? Have a good one. Why are you bugging me? Have a good one. Real Queen, this is Victoria Legrand, and the dome. Under the dome, an amazing excursion to a world of new technology and the riddles of an ancient civilization. Listen to this information, useful for all wings, and receive a colorful leaflet.
good day to you. Please come here. There's an urgent task for you. Ed, spit it out. I can see that something's bothering you. Well, um, uh, it's a bit of a private matter, you see. God, come on already. We can't just hand Miss Norway over to the Silvers, see? She's... She's unique among relics. Ed, we already discussed this. The relics' effect is well known. It's nothing but semantic imitation. I wrote you about it, remember? I know. Well, it's... There's something else. She's rational. No, really. I've talked with her for hours. She... Damn it, Ed. The relic doesn't speak. It's some kind of subliminal wave field messing with your head. It's you having both sides of the conversation with Norway. It's all inside your head. You're imagining that it's rational. That's it. We've gone through all that. Uh, Doctor, what if it's the other way around? What if she made you believe she's not rational? Eddie! But you can't exclude the possibility, can you? Excursion to a world of new technology and the riddles of an ancient civilization. Listen to this information, useful for all wings. Hello. Attention, attention, please handle relics carefully. In case of damage, your life will be forfeit. It was nice chatting.
Welcome under the dome, an amazing excursion to a world of always, and receive a colorful leaflet. Amazing excursion to a world of new technology and enables the location service. Wow. Listen. Maybe it's a reaction to the scanner. Well, hello there. Attention, attention, please handle relics carefully. In case of damage, your life will be forfeit. The giant display glows welcomingly when you approach. A red light comes on under the screen's steel hood. A gray old man with high cheekbones appears and squints out at you from the screen. Do you copy? He leans close to the camera, his glasses glittering. My name is Martin Kingsley. I'm Chief Officer of Magellan Base. We were supposed to meet in person, but unforeseen circumstances prevented that. One moment, I'll grab your file. He reaches for something out of view and produces a thin folder with your name on the cover. Apparently, your file. Kingsley marks one of the pages with a pencil. Why did you choose Blackwing? There are other divisions in the corporation you could have worked in. Kingsley's waiting for your answer. Martin nods and writes something down. Cronus has much to offer. Varied assignments, our own training zone, and the opportunity to move up through the ranks. Kingsley closes the file and folds his hands in front of him. Thank you for your reply. I learned a little more about you. Now I want you to learn a little bit more about us. Keep in mind, this is not a rehearsed speech. He assumes a serious expression. When the dome was discovered in 1971, it became a scientific and media sensation, a worldwide phenomenon, and likely the most significant discovery in the history of mankind. Kingsley drums his fingers on the unseen desk, his gaze focused somewhere beyond. I see. You were enticed here by radio advertising, telefilms, and all those interviews, billboards at every turn. Cronus wants the world to see the dome as a stage where something merry and fascinating is going on. But now that you're actually here, I want you to see the real picture.
He looks back at your file. I say, do what must be done. Because that's what the concept of the Five Wings is all about. Kingsley points at the camera. You're from Blackwing. Your duties are simple and straightforward. But you have to understand, everything you do is to maintain order and peace. Once people panic, they kill each other much quicker than the Dome ever would. Putting the folder aside, he sits back and stares at you in silence. It gets so quiet that the ticking of a clock can be heard through the speakers. Kingsley sighs quietly. You were probably waiting for some boilerplate welcome speech. But I prefer to talk about real-world problems. Glad to meet you. Martin nods slowly. I apologize once again for this long-distance meeting. Now, as we don't have much time, I'd like to get to the point. I'm sure you're curious why you were taking off the bus to Magellan and brought here instead. He moves closer to the camera. I'm going to show you a short video. Please pay attention. Kingsley's face freezes on screen. I have an urgent mission for an employee of your background and qualifications. I'd have assigned someone from Magellan, but I'm short on personnel. That's why it has to be a newcomer. I apologize again for the rush, but it seems I have no choice. Martin noisily clears his throat. <clears throat> Maybe you've heard about Nashville Base. While preparing the materials for this mission, I came across a short documentary film about the complex. I think you should watch it. The speakers produce a hollow click. Purple, gray, and black spots flicker on the screen. A blurred title, the Cronus Archive 1971 to 1974, was used in the production of this recording, appears at the bottom. The shadow of an airplane flies across a faded yellow desert. A cheery voice fills the room. Every day, our researchers uncover more and more of the dome's secrets. There is no doubt the underground structures, so-called objects, are organized according to some pattern. Though early on, the importance of the relics to scientific research was considered insignificant. Attention. The desert dims into the black of a chalkboard. White lines drawn by an invisible hand begin to sketch a schematic of the dome. The narrator continues. By 1972, however, Many important discoveries had come to light in a period of only a few months, and the construction of stationary research bases adjacent to the more promising objects began. Personnel moved into Ankara in May of 1972, and within half a year, Boston and Dessau were also brought into service, though the biggest discovery was yet to come. The picture changes to a chasm suffused with electric light people bustling about everywhere the speaker's voice seems to come from a distance in november of 1973 a massive network of underground caves and a structure of hitherto unseen complexity was discovered in sector c12 soon afterwards the construction of c12 nashville began the camera glides through dim caverns as the silhouettes of bizarre mechanisms emerge. Metal structures loom up from the dark, surrounded by earth-moving machines and exhausted miners wearing orange jumpsuits. The speaker continues. C-12 Nashville is an innovative research complex located atop the primary relic mining location. The complexity of this object is unique. Communications the film abruptly cuts out, and Kingsley's face reappears. The rest of this information is classified. Hopefully you get the main idea. Nashville is a very special place, requiring people with both special qualifications and special clearance level. Though yours will do for your task. Martin adjusts his glasses. So, the task. Nashville base stopped transmitting and receiving signals yesterday evening. A reconnaissance group was sent out earlier today, but we haven't heard anything from them yet either. 
The chief officer rubs his forehead. Normally, I would never give this task to a newcomer like yourself, but I just don't have enough people. He looks down at the documents again. Furthermore, the group was lacking someone with your specialization. I decided that a visit to an established base like Nashville didn't require an armed escort. That may have been a big mistake. Kingsley is looking into the camera once more. Your task is to get to Nashville, figure out whatever's behind the communication problem, get in touch with the group, and work with them to solve the problem. The chief officer carefully returns the documents to the folder. You notice his hands tremble slightly. Go downstairs. The truck must be waiting for you in storage. This task is urgent, but a small delay is acceptable if there's anything you need to settle here first. That is all. Any questions? Kingsley's hand reaches toward the camera. Great to hear. Take care of yourself. I'll talk to you later. Manifests he wants. Always manifests. Ugh. You're a cold man, Ulf. You're heartless. Hey, did you see that storm? Hell, you want me to go back out there? Uh, those are the rules, Todd. Nothing I can do about it. Sorry. Damn it! Well... Attention, attention. Please handle relics carefully. In case of damage, speak your life quickly. Will be forfeit. Yes, you get out now. I'm all ears. Good day. Have a good one.
Oh, good day.